Hello beautiful ladies and handsome gentlemen of the world! Welcome to another fragrance video. Uh, in this episode we're going to take a look at the most popular men's fragrances of the past like 20 to 30 years. So I've collected some really popular old school fragrances and also some fragrances that are really popular to this day. And I've sent the 10 samples over to Hillevi that is sitting ready right now and I'm gonna call her over at Zoom. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Uh, hello, Hilary, and welcome to this uh, fragrance testing. <laughs> nice Hi, that thank you, you could, for having uh, me. Nice that you could uh, join this testing. Uh, so today I've collected top 10 of the most popular men's fragrances from today and like 30 years back. So uh, let's see how you feel about the first fragrance. Okay, let's see. It smells a lot like shaving cream, okay. I would say. Mm -hmm. Well, like... Um, it kind of smells like my grandpa. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And he has like really classy um, shaving stuff and okay. like really fancy stuff. So it smells like fancy shaving cream. Okay. I'm, I would say it's kind of good memories. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really like, I remember when I used to sleep over at my grandparents' house mm -hmm. and uh, I would go to their bathroom, which is like really huge and fancy and everything, and I would smell all this. Okay. And it's just, yeah, I really like it. But would you like yeah. to smell it on like a guy in your age or? No. No. Well, it depends on if he's like dressed up in a fancy suit, okay. then maybe I would go for it. But okay, yeah. Mm, not like casually. <laughs> no, okay. So uh, if you're gonna give this a rating from 1 to 10, what would you rate this? 10 is the best. Maybe a uh, 4 or 5. Okay, I would say. so 4 and a half or? Yeah, 4 and a half. Okay, cool. We jump into the second fragrance and see how Ooh. we feel about that one. I really like this one. You do? Okay. Yeah, it smells like, in, in a good way, it smells like an airport. You know, like tax-free uh, tax stores. And it smells like first class flying. Yeah, I mean, I would want to wear this, definitely. The second one, really, yeah? Yeah, I, okay. would, I would feel so like classy and yeah. I would want to wear like uh, really expensive clothes and just... Okay, okay. Yeah. So would you like to smell this on a guy your age or...? Yeah. Definitely. Yep. <laughs> I would love to smell this on a date. You would, yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely in the summer. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm reminded a lot of like, yeah, summertime, it's sunny, it's bright, but it's not too much of like a flowery smell. So you could wear this in like any situation, really. So we're rating for this one? An eight. An eight, or okay, nine. awesome. Yeah. Let's see, what do you think about the third one? It kind of smells like the first one, but it's kind of, like a softer, less, it's less of a like punch in the nose. Yeah. <laughs> so this is really softer. This, I, yeah, I could tolerate this more. This is something I would smell on my, on my grandpa and yeah. I would hug him and I would yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't like it on like a guy my age. Okay. That would just kind of remind me of my grandpa and I'd be uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, so what do you want to give this from one to 10? I would maybe give this like a five, okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's a bit better than the first one. Yeah. So uh, let's jump into the fourth one. I think that we could uh, do something different now. That you, you take the fourth one and the fifth one. And you mm -hmm. uh, compare these two. And, mm -hmm. then you, and then you pick the favorite amongst these. Okay. And then you put that up so you know. And then we take the sixth and seventh and so on. So it's yeah. a little bit easier than just rating yeah. from one to ten, I think. All right. So uh, fourth and fifth one. Okay, so we got four and five here. Yeah. They're kind of similar, I would say. And this one is a bit softer, so it's kind of hard to smell. This is, I, it kind of reminds me of a flower shop. The fourth one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like it, it smells really fresh, uh, like really refreshing. Yeah. Uh, but not in a minty kind of way, more in like a, this is really fresh air and True. I'm walking among flowers and yeah. it's nice and good. This one is a bit more minty. I think it's a bit more like alcohol in it. Yeah, they're kind of similar, mm -hmm. uh, but this has a bit more of a punch in it. The fourth I would say, one like or fifth one? Less 
The fifth one. The fifth one, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you feel there's, like there's some spices in that one? Uh, some people say it smells a little bit like cardamom and cinnamon and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, when you say that, I can... Oh, So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Some people perceive it as a very good dating scent because it's a little bit cuddly, a little bit more cozy yeah, it, than it really the other is one. It really is cozy. I the, would prefer the fifth one the fifth if I were one. cuddling with someone. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like a movie night, and we're watching Netflix, and it's nice and just yeah. Yeah. soft and wholesome. I would prefer this one if we were like out on a dinner date. Yeah. The fourth one, yeah. if we were like something a bit more fancy and okay. like you need to be dressed up. So you prefer the fifth one, and uh, rating for the fifth one then? What would you give it? I would give it a nine. A I nine. Think. Okay. Yeah, I awesome. would love to wear this. Like it's really. But for Just a guy, for, uh, for also for a guy, you think it's <laughs> attractive? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Awesome. So we uh, move into the sixth and seventh one. Yes. So here we go, number six and number seven. Oh yeah, this one is really minty, kind of like peppermint. This one, <laughs> this one smells like toothpaste. The sixth one. Yeah. Okay. You don't feel or it's maybe a that's citrus, just, mm, citrus scent? Yeah, like citrus and a bit of peppermint and I would say lemongrass. Okay, yeah. Yeah, a bit of lemongrass. Like this one is also really fresh. Yes. So if it were like a more of an intimate situation, mm -hmm. uh, I would definitely prefer the sixth one. Because okay. you get like this really fresh feeling. So that's... How was the seventh one? Okay, let's see. If I'm gonna be honest, this one smells like a hospital. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Yeah. The seventh I one. I don't know why. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's fair enough. So it that smells... goes out of the equation in an instant. Yeah. Not a sexy scent it's for like the guy. This... Oh god! Wait, what is that? <laughs> yeah, it smells like really old and s like not dusty, but kind of like um, kind of a thrift store. Like okay. a thrift store vibe. Interesting. Uh, yeah. If you find like a cool suit in a thrift store, it smells like this. Like, like old number clothes. Seven. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Like it was an old, pretty rich dude that had like a like uh, that, and they ended up at a thrift store, and it's <laughs> bl blended with kind of a dusty, old, but also kind of nice smell. Mm -hmm. That's a, just a personal preference, but. But I, you prefer the sixth one over the seventh. Yeah. One. Yeah, definitely. Much better. Okay, cool. So what do you want to give the sixth one? Probably an, a seven, I would think. Seven, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so uh, yeah, the last three you can just take separately Ooh. if you want. <laughs> so yeah. We, so we switch it up a bit. <laughs> okay. So Let's number see. eight. Yeah, this one reminds me of like the first and second, no, the third one. Like the first and the third one. A little more sweeter. Yeah, a bit mm. more. Like a hotel, like a hotel bar. It's the same kind of minty, fresh smell. So yeah. I, I really appreciate that, but it's a bit too much of like shaving cream for me. Okay. I okay. would be like, yeah. if a dude wore this, I would be like, you just shaved? It's positive, of course, but mm. it wouldn't be my first instinct to instantly like, you know, mm. go out with a dude. So you wouldn't say this is uh, like sexy on a guy in general? Personally, no. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So the eighth one, what would you give it? Five and a half. Five and a half. Okay. Yeah. Like it would be okay to smell, but I wouldn't instantly be like turned on by it. Oh. You know. Okay. We move into the last two today. Oh yeah, this is really fresh. It kind of smells like deodorant, but like the nice, fancy, expensive stuff that I borrow from my older brother. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's really... Yeah, I think I'd wear this one, too. And I... This I, is actually yeah. a unisex fragrance from... Uh, it is? From Calvin Klein. It's uh, oh. very popular. Both uh, guys and girls have this. It's called the CK1. I don't know if you... Oh, yeah, I recognize it. Yeah, like, it's really... It's not <sighs> the whole... Oh, you're so masculine. You need to smell like shaving cream all the time. And no. it's not like... I smell like flowers and nothing else. Yeah. Um, it's really a mix of it. Uh, okay, and I, cool. really, I really appreciate that. Yeah. So it's a good balance between yeah. masculinity and some femininity, maybe. Mm -hmm. How do you want to rate the ninth one, Hilary? A nine. 
A nine, okay. Yeah. Awesome. And then we have the tenth one. Woo! Oh, yeah, I love this one. It smells, it smells really like, I'm getting a big summer vibe. Uh, okay. It smells like watermelon and strawberries. Yeah, I love this one. So you love it. Is that, yeah. that the best so far? For, uh, Definitely. Today, or... Yeah. Uh, so I would love if a, if a guy were to wear this. Do you feel there, do you see some specific type of situations or do you feel he can wear it like all day round, all year round or? I mean, I would prefer it all year round uh, yeah, cause yeah. it's not like the typical, well, I smell like shaving cream and nothing else. It's yeah. like a bit more flowery and it's nice that guys should be able to wear like flower scents. Yeah. And I would, I would really appreciate that. Like, yeah, okay, cool. Just to break some like stereotypes. Yeah. And because it's so, not better, uh, so, what do you want to rate this one? A ten. <laughs> a ten. Okay. Yeah. So the last one is the winner of today, mm -hmm. in your opinion, and this is uh, called One Million from Paco Rabanne. I don't know if you've heard of it. No, I haven't. Um, it's the um, the gold bottle. Oh. The golden. You know. Thank you very much uh, for being in the video, well, Hilary. I really so appreciate. Much for having me. Uh, Appreciate you take your time to this little Zoom call yeah. today. And uh, yeah, hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much. And have a great uh, weekend. You too. Bye now. Bye. Bye bye. So that was everything for today, guys. And before we end this video, please click that subscribe button, guys, because I see that over 75% of my viewers are non-subscribing. What are you waiting for? Please support the channel. You don't have to smash it. You can just click it a little bit gently if you want. And also click a little gentle click on the thumbs up buttons if you like these type of fragrance testing. So I can know that if I should do more or just quit the channel and just delete all the videos. See you the next time, guys. Love you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.